This question is a medium difficulty GMAT problem solving question. I'll classify this one around a 650 level GMAT question. This is from the topic interest focuses on the concept of compound interest. Essentially, we are looking at an equivalent of compound interest in the form of present value of future investments. John is set to receive two equated annual payments of X dollars each. Two payments is receiving their annual payments of X dollars each. He will receive the first of his two payments two years from today. Which of the following expressions provides the present value of the two payments if John uses 7% per annum to compute the present value? So we need to pick from one of these five answer options that expression which corresponds to the present value of the two payments he is going to receive. Key data, he is going to receive X two X dollars as two equated annual installments. So each of the two payments is going to be for X dollars. The rate that he is using to compute the present value is 7% expressed as a fraction that is 7 upon 100 expressed as a decimal it is 0 0.07. The formula that I will be using will use the rate of interest per annum expressed as decimals which is why I did this conversion right away. Now two things the first of the payments he is going to receive is for X dollars and he is going to receive it two years from now. So n the number of years to be used to compute the present value for the first payment is equal to 2. The second payment he is going to receive is one year from that point in time and that is also going to be for X dollars. So for the second payment that he is going to receive, the number of years to be used to compute the present value n is equal to 3. Let's look at the formula for computing the present value and see how it ties in with the formula that we use to compute component interest. Present value formula is future value divided by 1 plus r raised to the power of n. Future value in our case is x dollars each each of the payments is going to be for X dollars. R the rate of interest is 0 0.07 for us expressed in terms of decimals. N for the first payment will be 2 and N for the second payment is going to be 3. Let's see how this one ties in with the compound interest formula. Compound interest formula the amount that you will receive at the end of the investment period A is equal to the principal that we invested times 1 plus R raised to the power of N where R is the rate of interest and expressed in terms of decimals. N is the number of years for which you invested. Look at it. This is the money that you are putting in which is a present value of what you have got. You invest it at some rate of interest for so many years and this is what you are going to get in future. That's a future value. So the amount is the equivalent of future value. The principle that you are putting in right now is a present value. So if you had to compute the present value which is a principle, the formula would have been amount divided by 1 plus R raised to the power of N which is exactly what we have right now. So what we are going to do is we are going to plug in the value of future value, rate of interest and number of years for each of the two payments that he is going to receive. First payment n is equal to 2, r is 0 0.07 for both the payments and future value of x dollars is the same for both the payments. So the present value we will call it as PV1 for the first payment, future value x divided by 1 plus 0 0.07, 1 plus r whole square because the number of years is equal to 2. So this would translate to x upon 1.07 square. So this is the present value of the first of the payments he is going to receive. Second payment is again for the same x dollars rate of interest is 0 0.07 per annum expressed in decimals. Number of years is going to be equal to 3. So the present value of the second payment is equal to the future value x divided by 1 plus r which is 1 plus 0 0.07 raised to the power of n, n is equal to 3 in this case. So the future, the present value of the second payment is equal to x upon 1.07 cube. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. The present value of the first payment is x divided by 1.07 square. Present value of the second payment is x upon 1.07 whole cube. The present value of both the payments taken together is the sum of these two values. Present value of the first payment is x upon 1.07 square. Second payment is x upon 1.07 whole cube. Take 1.07 whole cube as a common denominator. So the numerator for the left hand side is going to become now a 1.07 right because 1.07 divided by 1.07 whole cube would have been 1 by 1.07 square. So 1.07x plus x divided by 1.07 whole cube. So this would become 2.07x divided by 1.07 whole cube. This is the present value of the two payments that you will receive second year and third two years and three years from now. So this is the answer that you got. Choice B is the correct answer to this question. 
Before you leave, I want you to do two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzko.in slash core. This is one of the most comprehensive and affordable online GMAT quant course. Starts from absolute basics and will help you scale up to questions that would take you to scoring Q50 plus in the GMAT quant section. Try the first topic, statistics and averages. It's free. The entire topic will take you about six to eight hours to complete. Run through the checkpoint quizzes, the chapter tests, everything available in it. Enjoy the UI, UX and the teaching methodology. If you find that helping you with your learning needs, then basically convert it into a paid course and access the remaining topics behind the paywall. Second, you also should take the free 10 minute tests that are there. Every time you find 10 minutes, basically go and take this test and complete one more topic. Get engaged with the GMAT preparation wherever you are. All you need is a mobile phone. If it's an Android phone, there is an app available. If it's an iOS, an Apple phone, there's an iOS app available. And lastly, before you leave, I want you to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. YouTube.com slash Vizaco.